Hey guys, this is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. Hey, <laughs> today we're going to talk about my favorite subject, which is sales. All right, we got a cool subject for ourselves today, so let's go ahead and dive right into it. It's kind of funny, it's kind of poignant, so what is our subject for today? Selling, whining, and complaining. Oh no, he didn't. What did I say? I said selling, whining, and complaining. Okay, hey guys. I have in the past, I'm not going to lie, been the whiner in chief. What did he say? I said the whiner in chief, or should I say the chief whiner? Because, <laughs> see, sometimes, you know, I've been called a prima donna. I've been called things in the past where, you know, I thought my stink didn't stink. And you know what? I'm telling on myself. Because, you know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. I told you I'd tell you the good, the bad, the ugly, and all the stuff that's got to do with selling and stuff that people gloss over and don't talk about. Okay, on this forum we will. All right. So our subject for today is selling and whining and complaining. Hey, first off, guys, people are watching us. Our kids, our significant others, our families, our friends. And sometimes you got to vent. But see, what happens is it can become what they call a habit <laughs> and not a good habit. And sometimes, you know, we need to look at ourselves and, and start talking to ourselves in a positive way. Because what we put into our brain comes out in our speech and also comes out in what we do. You know, I've been a complainer. I've been the whiner in chief. I've been the guy that uh, probably, you know, when things weren't working out or weren't doing good, you know, I'd complain. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> and I had, I had to just think about it, you know, because I was watching somebody the other day who was whining about selling and having a bad day. And, you know, that's just a part of our re reality. One month, you'll be like the top dog. You'll be doing real good. And then the next Next month you'll be like, damn, what happened? What have you done for me lately? And you might have a bad day. So what happens is you start whining and complaining. And see, if you have children, what are they seeing? Hmm, been guilty of that one. Um, they see you frustrated, upset, angry because, you know, you weren't making money. So you kind of like maybe took it out on them. And I have. I've, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I've been frustrated and angry because we work on commission, honey. And when you're making just straight commission or if you're getting a little bit of money and you're not making enough to, to meet your bills and things like that, it can be rough. And in my own experience, yes, I've been a whiner and a complainer. And then what happens is, is management, they kind of like, uh, get a hold of that and they want to reel you back in like a big old fish okay and I'm gonna tell you what you don't want your management to come down on you saying hey what have you done for me lately and why are you complaining so much why are you whining a lot Whew, man, that's a that's a mouthful in this regard. You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. And uh, this is a sore subject for a lot of people because, see, they call us prima donnas sometimes when we're uh, kicking butt and we think that, you know, we're doing everything right and the world should revolve around us. Well, I'm going to tell you what, it don't. You know, we ride, <laughs> we ride on this little planet we call that rock, you know, and so we got to enjoy the ride. You know, like I said, if, if you're in sales or a brand new salesperson, you may run into this situation. You may become the whiner in chief. You may be the next complainer. And what's going to happen is, is people don't want to be around you, especially if you got a bad attitude with no gratitude. What is gratitude? Being grateful. You got a job. You better be grateful. You got a home, place to sleep, food to eat. You got things that are good in your life if we'll just take a look at them. You know, selling and complaining and also whining about it, what it does is it messes with your psyche. It messes with your productivity. It messes with your attitude. And when it does that, what happens is you come across as kind of cross with customers, a little desperate, a little mean, maybe a little frustrated, and you're not yourself. So if you find yourself being the whiner in chief or the person who complains a lot and you're just not feeling your best, whew, I guess we need to go back to our gratitude list. If you don't know what a gratitude list is, it's a list of those things that you should be grateful for. Okay, now sometimes what happens is, is it can become overwhelming for us and then we quit selling. 
Don't quit selling. We're important and we matter and we need you. We really need you. A little fist bump to give you a little encouragement. You know, the reason why I share some of this personal stuff with you guys is because I've been there and I've written some really crazy checks that I ain't too proud of. But see, if nobody talks about stuff like this, we really miss the opportunity to be able to be a real human. Humans, we got, we're frail, you know, and we're salespeople. And, you know, it sucks when you're not making the kind of money and other people are doing real good. But you got to remember, sometimes they ain't doing real good and you're doing real good. <laughs> so I have to remember sometimes that, hey, I have been the whiner in chief. I know it sounds funny and everything, but in reality, you know, as crazy is as crazy does. And I just want to be the best that I can be in sales. And I know you do too. You know, the whiner in chief thing, it came to me, it was like I was driving down the road and I heard somebody whining and complaining and I'm thinking, God dang, man, I remember doing that. Dang, have I done that lately? Oh, uh, uh, have I done that lately? Yeah, I have. And I had to reevaluate some things in my selling career. You know, I've got a lot of licenses and I'm able to sell a lot of different things. And I'm going to school right now to get another license because I like to sell stuff. But if you whine about things and you complain about things all the time, like I said earlier, people do not want to be around you. They don't even want to know you. Because see, what happens is birds of a feather flock together. And if you hang around with a lot of wieners, not winners, wieners, people who don't do their best or mediocre or just give up, it rubs off on you. So I have to be very careful about the kind of people I let in my life. Now, I'm gonna say this, and I have been a whiner, okay? I have been a you know complainer. And I've had people call me in the past, you know, that prima donna. And a prima donna ain't a good thing to be called. If you Google it, it's not a good thing. It's like you think you're that in a bag of chips and you're better than everybody else, and I'm not. I just like to be number one. And I'm not always number one. Sometimes I'm number two, and sometimes I'm in the top 10%, but I always shoot for number one. And that's what we do, because we're good salespeople. I say good salespeople. Good salespeople want to be the best. But listen, if we're whining about our leads, oh, man, these leads suck. I can't get no sales. Oh, I'm, I'm, uh, I can't do my job, man. I'm frustrated. I'm angry. Uh, it shows. It shows in your face. It shows in your attitude. And people are always watching us, guys. You never know who's watching you. And they're going, dang, I remember when they were real nice and they were real happy. Now they seem really miserable. I've been there. I've written that bad check before, guys. I ain't going to lie. But see, sometimes we have to reflect. We have to say, hey, is this product that I'm selling, is it the right one? And it may be. It may be you're going through a law, you're having a little bad day. So we can have a little pity party, but we can't live in pity. We can't live in that little pity party. My mom always says to me, she said, Gary, she said, if you're having a bad day, that's okay. You can cry for a few days, but get over it because you work on commission and you got to make some money, honey. And I'm thinking, damn, that's a pretty good idea, mama. So if you're having a bad week, a bad day, a bad month, okay, that's okay. I give you permission, and can you give me permission when I do wrong that I can get back on track and start doing the right next thing? Yes, I can. Mm -hmm. And you can too, because you're successful minded. You're the kind of person that can handle objections, deal with a lot of attitudes, and do yourself a favor. If you find yourself whining and complaining, <sighs> please stop. I know I say a lot of funny things, I do a lot of crazy things, but I'm telling on myself, guys, because I've been a whiner, I've been a complainer, and it's not a good look for a good salesperson. We got to play that tape back of all those good things that we've succeeded at. We've got to look at ourselves. We can't, we can't dwell on, well, I can't sell. Well, yes, you can. I can too. I'm real good at it. And I love having selling conversations. I love talking to people. I love helping people. I love teaching people about how to close and how to have conversations with people. And I like to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly because my name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. And we're important. But remember, if you find yourself whining a lot and complaining, who's it really hurting? It's hurting you. It's hurting your character. It's hurting the people that are around you, that depend on you. Because, see, what happens is, is we share negative, 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 
What do you think? Them poor little kids and those other salespeople, how are they going to feel? They probably think, well, if he can't do it, then I can't do it either. And I don't want to crush nobody's dream. And that's not what we're about. We're about selling, selling ourselves to be successful, selling ourselves on being the best we can be, selling ourselves to selves on doing what other people don't want to do. And you can't be successful unless you do the things that are hard. And so sometimes we have to reevaluate what's going on. We got to go back, get our little toolbox out, boop, 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 that little toolbox with all the stuff that we've learned, all the training that we've learned, and we got to seek out new ideas and information. That's why we are talking right now, because you're searching out, and I'm right there giving out information. Yeah, I'm not a preacher, but I'm a teacher. I like to teach positive things, positive in, positive out. You know, our subject for today is selling and whining and complaining. I'm going to tell you what, it does not work and it doesn't make you look good. It makes you frustrated. It makes you hurt inside. Sometimes people get a, a little crazy and when they do, they start look, 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 drinking or smoking or doing things that, you know, we shouldn't do. We shouldn't do stuff like that. We shouldn't mask our issues like tissues that pop up all the time. We should confront those. We should deal with those. We should pray. I pray a whole lot. God help me from being a dang whiner and a complainer. But sometimes that little whiner and that little complainer creeps right on in there. And I'm guilty. I'm not going to lie. But I needed to look at this and I needed to share this video with you. Because if you're the whiner in chief, or if you're the complainer, or if you're the one that sees the glass half empty or just full... Look for it to be overfilling, guys, because we got so many great things to be grateful for. So do yourself a favor. You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. We'll have a good conversation. We're not going to whine as much because we need to look at that. And when you find yourself whining, reevaluate what's going on. Talk to your mentors. Talk to people that are in the upper echelon. Say, hey, look, man, I feel real upset. I feel like I'm stressing. Sometimes when you feel like you're stressed and you got to share it. Now, you got to be careful who you share it with because if you hang around with people that, that, can't, that don't have your best interest, they'll say, like a crab, oh, you suck, go ahead and quit, I bet you. They will, and I've seen it, okay? And don't be that person who does that to people because we matter. We sales people, and it's hard to find good people like us. My name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. And do me a favor, you got to go out there and sell something. But if you ain't asking for the order, you ain't selling. So go out there and enjoy your day. Enjoy, you know, just enjoy the ride. Life goes really, really fast, and a selling career is wonderful. But remember, we don't want to be the whiners. We don't want to be the complainers. We don't want to be the people that look at it and go, damn, run for that guy. He sucks. He complains all the time. He sure does want and want. And I'll tell you what. If you have a bad day, it's okay. If you have a bad week, we're going to work one. We're going to deal with it. So do yourself a favor. Go out there and sell something. And don't forget to ask for the order. And remember, selling and whining and complaining. Hmm, they don't work. <laughs> so if you want to work, don't complain. Don't whine. Go out there and sell something. And remember, you're important. Okay. Little fist bump. Boom, boom. It's going to be all right. I got you back. Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. All right.